guys, Warthog71 here. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Very, very excited. Just got this in. Okay, Sightmark 3X magnifier with the mount. Slides over to the side, just like that. Snaps back in place at the top. Um, reflex sight, also. Green reflex sight. Very, very clear glass. Uh, really, really liking this a lot. Um, it's got some good points, got some bad points, uh, and we'll go over those in a second. I am super duper excited. Also, this came with it, okay? So, let's see what this is. This also, I mounted it on my, uh, 300 Blackout, upper right here, and this right here is a little reflex sight that came with it free, and uh, this thing right here is called an electro dot. Very common reflex sight. I got another one, uh, like I said, was called a McGrid. And, um, you know, like to me, it looked a little fuzzy here and there. I actually uh, um, did a little work on it. Um, just moved the reticle around a little bit. And she sharpened right up. And she's been holding zero fine. Originally, I had a very similar one with the one that just says like McGrid on the side. On this originally and it held up no problem on the 300 blackout so I'm pretty confident that this guy's gonna do the job this is just a red dot uh, and uh, it has uh, four different reticles in it as well which is really cool also remember anytime you uh, zero your zero your reflex sight or whatever and uh, you change the reticle you may lose uh it may not be the exact zero where you at you're probably shooting in the same range but it's not going to be exact at least that's what i found okay getting back to this green reflex sight 3x magnifier with windage and elevation on it okay it's got a little uh eyepiece diopter right here to uh tune it right into your own eye for your own eye relief right there this is unlimited parallax right here this is not because it's a magnifier these are called the uh, UltraShot Pro Spec, is what these are, okay? They both came together. They come as a kit. This is the Tactical Magnifier STS with the mount, and this is the uh, SM1400 2G. So far, so good. I haven't taken them out and shot them yet because uh, this is a new special build I'm doing right here carbon fiber rail 17.7 inch barrel by ballistic advantage this is a henry barrel okay this is a high performance premium barrel in here so i'm going to be doing some range tests and putting this up against another 556 this is 556 twist uh got one of my anderson lowers right here uh little trinity four stock which is fantastic and check this out so you start, you know, you're beginning to see um, a lot of charging handles, and you'll see like uh, paracord made into rope and stuff like that. You'll also see them, uh, you know, braided and stuff. And I've got a couple of those also. But uh, what I did was uh, I just tied this around here, right here, to see how it works. And for me, charging it, I have the bolt back right now. Charging it is just not a problem. Got a uh, nickel boron bolt in here. She's unlocked. Let's try to, uh, let's just reach on the other side right here. And, oh, my freaking carpal tunnel, man. Sorry about that, guys. Okay? And what we'll do is, we'll send the bolt back. So I got a nickel boron bolt right here. I got a fixed mag in here. So anytime I pull it back, it's going to lock back. CMC trigger. <clears throat> okay? want to tell you guys about this CMC trigger right here. Oh! Stop. Let me back up a second. I bought this. This with the mount. And this was free. Okay. $119 on sale. That's what I said. $119 on sale at Center Fire Systems. That is my new go-to company. Along with primary arms, which I got this CMC trigger right here on sale a while back for uh, 89 bucks. I bought two of them. And actually, let me tell you something about primary arms also. Um, 
not to get too far away from this, but primary arms, this is a three and a half pound trigger right here, primary arms had a flash sale on this and I went on and I couldn't get it. And uh, I wound up emailing this and I get this guy, uh, email from this guy, Van, uh, email back and they said, listen, just go ahead, man, uh, put in the wait for it, you know, like the, on the notify on the mailing list and when you notify that it's back in stock, just send me a copy of the order number and I'll make the adjustment. And that's exactly what he did. Okay. That's exactly what he did right there. He got, I got this whole drop in CMC trigger to them, $89 each at the time. Okay. And that was a fantastic deal on that. Centify Systems. Got this within, what, six days, five days. Uh, I think it went in on a Monday because I ordered it on Friday night. Went in on a Monday and I received it on Friday. And I sent Centifier Systems an email, kind of curious as to where it's at, because I wanted to order some other stuff, and I really started looking at their website. I was like, holy cow. This place, they've got, you name it, and they tell you how many they've got in stock on the website, which is fantastic. This selection is out of this world. It is insane. You name it, they've got it over there, and their prices are amazing. Absolutely amazing. And um, I just want to thank them for because they got back to me right away, and that was with the tracking number. This is like, they're like, look, there's no sense in sending, we're going to waste emails and your time and our time and send you out saying, hey, it's on its way, and here's the tracking number, this and that. They're like, dude, man, we just sent that out to you. So thank you very much for that, guys. Like I said in the email back to you, I appreciate it. My new go-to right there. Now, nickel boron bolt right here, okay? I got this nickel boron bolt. Might as well just go over this real quick. Um, that was a hundred bucks right there, man. <clears throat> Didn't want to bore you guys with the with the video. I actually did video on it, but I went and I went, uh, used the micrometer on it and I measured it. This thing is in mil spec, okay? As to AR Stoner, um, Big Papa. These this bolt is in uh is in mil spec. I have another one of these nickel boron bolts. This is uh man something machine company. I'll throw it in in the description. But I got another one of these, and um, I got to tell you, man, it's working flawlessly. Absolutely flawlessly. I highly recommend it, okay? Um, really, really recommend it. I'm a guy who likes to clean my gun, so, you know, like, for me, it doesn't make a difference to me cleaning them. But I'm going to tell you something. This thing, I'm hoping that it's going to do the job. It does the job on the other one. This Henry Barrel is a guaranteed by Ballistic Advantage. Sub MOA, 5.5667. Uh, one and seven twist barrel, 17.7 inches. I'm sure it'll do the job. This right here, carbon fiber rail right here, is from uh, Firefield, I think. I think that's what it is. Um, fantastic. Very, very light. Now, getting back to this, the bad. Heavy set of twins right there, man. I'm going to tell you right now, heavy set of twins. Together, they weigh 1.5 pounds. That's right. A little over one and a quarter pounds you're going to add to your weapon right here, all right? This rifle right here was exactly 7 pounds, 11 ounces with the magazine in, okay? And everything you see here without this. So now when you look at it, okay, I'm at nine pounds, which is the reason that I put carbon fiber on here. And the reason that I did all of this stuff is because I wanted to try to keep it as light as possible. And now it just brought me up to nine pounds again. So, um, good part about these two items right here. Bam! QD, baby. QD, quick detach. All right? And while I'm on this side, let me talk about this, this site right here, okay? So, it has, as you can see right here, it's got a little nib, so you can just feel it right here when you know that it's on zero, okay? When you know that it's off. And then you've got your one, two, three, and four levels of brightness, I believe, okay? And then it goes into night vision one, which is right here. And night vision two, which is right there, okay? Which you go, and you got a little little indentation right there, so you know where you're at, and then that's off. 
So, designed to use with both night vision one, two, and three. So the two is good for two and three, all right? So if you want to use this, you have your windage and elevation on there, which is really cool. Um, this right here, windage and elevation, what you do is you zero this first, and then you set this up to where you see it in the center when you look on through the reticle right here. Let's see if we could get, get a little look-see. All right? I don't know about that. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work, guys. Let me see something here. Let's try this out. Oh, there we go. There she is. But, you know, we're back here. We don't have any eye relief back here, okay? And if we slid that to the side right there and knocked it off, Let's see if we can see. There it is right there, okay? So, there she goes. And then you put that back up just like that, all right? And let's see if we can get in here. Oh, we're almost there. There we go. There you have it, just like that, okay? That's one of the reticles that you see right there. And then if you were to slide this off to the side, I gotta get, I got, I have to get, uh, get acquainted with that. And I'm only, uh, I've only got one hand going on. There we go. All right. So where you see is where you shoot. All right. This bad boy right here. Let's see this one right here. Let's try to turn this one on for you guys right here. All right. And what we'll do is this one, I, what I liked about this right here, it was very easy to the touch, okay? There we go. Here, dogs barking in the background. Now, you really can't see it well with this video camera right here. It's not as, uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, because it'll blur, the, the video will blur it out. But uh, I gotta tell you something, man. It's uh, this guy's this 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 bad boy's pretty cool too. The other one that I got is in both red and green. So there you have it. So 119 bucks, man. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, 119 dollars you can't go wrong. Okay. Check out Centify Systems. Check out check out Primary Arms. Uh. Check out, also, I might as well give a shout out real quick. I'm going to do a full review on this because we're going to be putting up against something else like I told you. But uh, check out Arm or Ally and uh, their prices for their barrels and anything else are unbelievable. Last downside to this, see how far back I got to put this? Keeping these all, all together right here. I can't put my iron sights on, okay? So... Can't have any iron sights on here, so I just got to make sure I keep my batteries going. All right, and uh, normally I do that. I'm actually going to change out this uh, grip right here, and I always get, uh, I always put pistol grips, and they have a, uh, it, I have a particular one that I like. It's a CAA, adjustable, and uh, has a little storage compartment in the bottom, and that's where I keep my batteries. I'll keep an extra set of earplugs, things of that nature. It's really, really cool. Um, little quick note, man. Um, the longer that you go on your rail the longer your barrel nut should be okay the extension the piece that goes over your barrel nut so so if you have a, a long rail and you have just a short barrel nut on here may cause you issues with your harmonics and stuff like that all right and also the stability on this uh i believe uh, like um mr geisley you know the inventor of geisley uh geisley everything i believe he's the one that came up with that all right, uh, that's a little just a Trinity Four stock right there. Um, does the job. I like this. This is really well, right, or, or really uh, wide right here. Nice, comfortable for my cheek rest. Got a little bit of rubber. Obviously, she is adjustable. So, um, there you have it. Thanks for tuning into the channel, guys. Hope you like and share. And um, of course, practice proper firearm safety techniques at all times. And Charlie Mike, Charlie Mike.